So, Red, we were talking about your training, getting your crew together down there in Charleston, South Carolina, and all the different responsibilities that you had as an aircraft engineer. You flew then from there up to Nova Scotia, yeah. and then across the sea to the Azores, yes. right? And then from there to Tunisia, and from Tunisia to Pantanella in southern Italy. What was it like when you guys arrived at that base with your B-24 and your group? What do you remember about your first impressions of getting your tent together to live in and all that stuff? Anything that you'd like to share? Yeah, the, 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 the thing that I remember most of all was our landing at, uh, at Pantanella. I remember that the minute the aircraft touched down, to the one, you never heard such a horrible noise in all your life. That, that was the first time at, of all our training we ever landed on PSP, they call it, you know, those uh, big metal strips. Oh, a noise and scared us, us half to death. The pilots themselves had already got used to it in the States. Mm -hmm. We, the regular crew members, didn't know that. I see. And that was real quick. It seemed like that, that was, it would be a nice place, you know, but they, but you, again, you had to live in tents, but uh, everybody did, so you that, you weren't knowing something new for them. You, but uh, just a little bit nervous about uh, who who's going to tell us what we got to do and when and all what fly, flights we're going to you know, fly on. Mm -hmm. Well, the records of your squadron show that you were arrived there in late July of 1944, and up until that time. Your squadron, the 464th and the 465th, where you sh with whom you shared that base, they had a hell of a time. They did some real tough missions. They were losing at sometimes 18 planes in one yeah. mission and so forth. So you, you guys, your crew, your first mission was to Budapest on July 30th. Can you tell a little bit about that? I think your ball turret gunner was lost on that very first mission. My dad's buddy, they called him Cookie. Yeah, Fred Cook. Tell us about that first mission if you want. Uh, I, from my standpoint, I just I felt leery all the time, knowing what we were going over there and why. It, it makes you think we're coming over there to try to hurt them, and they're going to try to hurt us in turn. So you don't. I don't know really remember that I have a specific feeling of anything that I remember. Mm -hmm. They must have thrown up a lot of flack, though, right? The, the first time you flew into the flak, or was that pretty that's pretty the hairy first for time you? I saw those those big old black uh, explosions, and uh, of course we had to stop and look and we'll see what there was. I, I know I did. What, what's that? It, dawned, it took a while to dawn on me that uh, we were being shot at. You know? Yeah. Now you said that. Cook, Fred Cook was lost on this mission. How how did that happen? What do you remember of how he was lost? What happened? Uh, I had I had the, after we got off got off the target and made a slow turn coming back heading back home. That's when I went back then from the the, uh, the cockpit area uh, to the back end. They had already talked to uh, the pilot or co-pilot, and so that's why I went back to this. And check out what they had been told, and sure enough, uh, first thing uh, the guys were there right to meet me. Uh, uh, Sergeant uh, Dempsey was there, and uh, Sergeant Fenero, and they said they were pretty calm about it. This fella uh, Dempsey, he was one of those. He he never seemed to get shook up. He was, he was a good crew member. We we appreciated him. The turret itself, you know, I had to peek down, looking down there, and I didn't really see anything. It was just a few pieces of metal. It was all gone. It was blown right out of the plane. Blown right out of there, and uh, I personally never did see Fred. I thought he, I, he was gone, him and turret and all. And later on, some of the guys said, well, you know, uh, Maybe he didn't get out. 